So we are here in Chongqing, China and entering the Vivo store now to check out their latest Vivo X200 Pro and X200 Pro Mini. So here we have the Vivo X200 Pro next to the Vivo X200 Mini, basically uh, X200 Pro Mini, basically the same kind of specs, MediaTek 9400, camera specs also almost the same, but this one here has the 200 megapixel from the Vivo X100 Ultra. 50 megapixel ultra wide angle and 50 megapixel main a little bit smaller one 101.3 inch size instead or 101.28 inch size instead of the um, one inch size sensor a very nice screen is flat it's a bit of thick as you can see there from the sides quite nice dual speakers there and a power button and so on and a fluid operating system we have here the uh, brand new version of Origin OS, I think it should be running here. There's all the, the software update available, as you can see, Origin OS 5 is running here, based upon Android 15, which is quite nice. You have the Vivo Blue Image chip V3, 6000 mAh uh, battery, so they put a new battery inside, the silicon carbon battery, which is quite nice. And uh, let's check out the cameras here. We are already in portal mode, let's go to video here to check this out. So we have a selfie cam 4K up to 60 frames per second, and when I record something here sadly still not the possibility to switch to the back facing cameras but when I go to 4k uh, 30 frames per second you can see I can switch from the back facing to the front facing and uh, vice versa so there you can see the zoom lens 3.7 times zoom is this new 200 megapixel sensor same as in the X100 Ultra and we can zoom up to 10 times apparently they stripped out the macro capabilities of this one here but at least you have better zoom capabilities with this one which is quite nice uh, so let's try to zoom in 10 times there uh, maybe on this uh, and let's see how this will look like and uh, then also selfie back to the selfie camera so what do you think about the selfie here probably I'm recording the audio from my other device here as you see here with the external mic attached and uh, this one doesn't have autofocus as you see here 32 megapixel uh, front facing camera sensor still on the uh, Vivo X200 Pro stabilization I think uh, hard to test it was I think they improved it a little bit at least on screen it looks a bit better there uh, than it looked before and uh, back facing camera is jumping directly to 10x because this is the last thing that we had before can go to wide ultra wide angle there as well which is quite nice and uh, let's stop this video here uh, back in my room, you notice that I abruptly ended this video in the Vivo store just because, uh, yeah, it was closing time already. For some reason, I always manage to get there late because we have like the whole day with the kid running around in different parks or she's sleeping or something like this and uh, in the evening we have time to go to such places and uh, this time around yeah we are shortly there before 10 there and at 10 the clo uh, shop closes so they asked us kindly then uh, to go but I didn't leave without uh, the true wireless uh, 4 that I got there I don't have it here right now I think it's still downstairs anyway uh, true wireless 4 that I got there uh, as um, yeah true wireless headphones because i want to test them out first of all they're pretty affordable i think 65 euros if you uh, just to calculate how much rmb in euro it would be so for 99 rmb is roughly 65 euros which is i think quite affordable you get good sound dual magnetic driver and what i really like is and i checked that out in the store I, even they allowed me to check it out in the store is the binaural recording that you get out of it with a vivo device and this is pretty pretty awesome i think it comes close and i will test it out against the huawei um, mate 60 pro and pura 70 ultra with the freebuds pro 3 because the freebuds 5 as i noticed don't have this high recording possibility because they're using a different chip there uh, so yes the freebuds pro 3 this i can test when i'm back in germany because my freebuds pro 3 are in germany uh, so I will do a test there. I have the Anko X2 as well that have binaural recording as well So I can test them against each other thing is like I want to get rid of maybe my wireless mic You notice lots of videos that I did in this trip are without this wireless mic because it's a bit cumbersome to take it out Put it in plug it in and especially the Hollyland uh, one is working perfectly fine but sometimes the connection between this one and the phone takes a while after you plugged in the receiver 
It's a bit disturbing sometimes it's recording via the internal mics and then switching to the external mic and such things. So this is why usually because the mics of the Honor Magic 6 RSR and the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra, the internal mics are so good that I don't have any issues like using just the internal mics and hopefully you didn't have any problems. But this time around I was using the external mic. You saw that syncing up with the Vivo clip was a bit hard. Uh, nevertheless, let's talk about the Vivo X200 Pro and X200 Pro Mini I wanted to talk about as well. So the big difference between those two is that the X200 Pro Mini only has a 50 megapixel telezoom lens, which is only three times telezoom instead of 3.7 times zoom and not a large 200 megapixel sensor that we have on the Vivo X100 Ultra. So that's a big difference. Of course, it is a smaller form factor, 6.1 inch, I think it is. A very small form factor there, very compact form factor, and this is what I like. I think it still has a large, relatively large battery, 5,700 milliamp hours, but don't name me on it. You can just read the specs for your GSM Arena or something like this. But the 6,000 milliamp hours you get on the standard X200 Pro, and the X100 Pro is the true successor to the X100 uh, Pro, for sure in almost everything but there's one thing that came up and this is the lens flare problem i was quickly able to snap a shot still but sadly i cannot because i couldn't move it over because i had to use uh, easy share by by vivo install it on my uh, magic 6 rsr to get at least the video file out there but the the, the photo i didn't manage to do anyway <coughs> the thing what i notice is that there is really this lens flare effect which is a hardware defect and i think vivo also um, acknowledged this defect already in a statement uh, written that it is a hardware defect they just simply made a mistake there they're not recalling the devices they try to fix it in software first maybe when they do in another revision maybe of the device they will try to uh, get around this also hardware wise because I cannot imagine them fixing it totally in software This is pretty hard I have to say and this is one of the big major reasons because otherwise I might be very tempted because the hand in hand feel was very nice with the straight edges and so nicer than the curved edges that we had on the X100 series but this way, nope. Also, I'm not so convinced about the 50 megapixel main sensor there. Yeah, they are saving a bit on battery there, but they have a larger battery in there. So why they want to save even more battery? They could have just put a one inch sensor in there. But I think they want to save this one inch sensor for the Ultra model. And yeah, if you, ha if you have a X100 Ultra, there's no reason to upgrade to the X200 Pro. Just wait for the X200 Ultra. Yes, they improved the telezoom range, but in the same time, you don't get the fantastic macro capabilities because this 4.3 times, uh, 3.7 times zoom actually uh, is not having this uh, close-up focusing um, possibilities there. So you're giving up something for the longer zoom range that looks a bit better than on the X100 Ultra. But for now, only because I think the algorithms that are that they use to optimize, they can also port back to the X100 Ultra. Hopefully they will do it so that we get better zoom, long range zoom on the X100 Ultra as well. Otherwise, just wait for the X200 Ultra when you want the best in terms of flagship camera specs. Otherwise, this device, as far as I'm aware, is not going to be um, limited to the Chinese market, but I think it is also going global, at least the Pro model. The Ultra model, I'm not so sure. Won't be available in Germany probably because they still didn't handle this thing there with uh, the, the, the patents and so on, I think. But otherwise, it will be a global version probably available there with, then with Funtouch OS, I think. The original OS 5 I liked, but the big improvements that you might see with other skins on Android or other operating systems there with the parallel animation and so on. In my first testing there, I couldn't really see it, <laughs> to be completely honest there. The US felt like the previous uh, operating system there, but I was like, it's my first impression only on this. Maybe someone can correct me there uh, on this as well. Otherwise, great device, I would say, especially the mini version might be something for uh, people who like the smaller form factor. But yeah, like I said, the cameras and this lens flare effect is something where I would say, maybe wait for the Xiaomi 15, because this will be also a compact device, 6.3 inch, which is like slightly larger than there, but might have not those issues that the Vivo uh, X200 Pro Mini has might be tempting as well because price-wise I think they are playing in the same league and hopefully I get my hands on, on the Xiaomi 15 as well. I saw some things there in the background still but officially it's like 
out on the 29th of October here in China so don't have any possibilities to film it beforehand hopefully I have the chance because I'm leaving quite sure because you know 14 days or 15 days I think um, uh, travel free visa free uh, travel here in China only so have to leave pretty soon again end of the month and uh, hopefully I have the chance to test out the Xiaomi 15 15 Pro maybe as well because I'm uh, leaning for now leaning more forward to this than the vivo x200 pro for now where i think it might be more of a downgrade the same goes for the oppo but i didn't have the chance to test the oppo because the oppo is like where i'm located right now nowhere to be found i have to like really go a bit further and uh, get a dd or something like this to go there and I simply don't have time for this because family comes first so hope you understand this and if you have some other questions regarding the vivo x200 pro maybe i have the chance to go to the shop again ask the, uh, them or test it out again but uh, like i said it's a bit of hard uh, maybe i can answer anyway the questions there down below that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye